welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to go through the Senorita range of perfumes from a Salvatore Figueramo, following on from my other recent video about the Amo Ferragamo range. If you're new here, then welcome. It's all about perfumes, new videos every week, all about perfumes, and write your requests for any perfume ranges you'd like me to do down below in the comments, and I do try and do all your requests. So do subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'd love to have you here. Just past 7,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. And yeah, let's just talk about some perfume. So this range started in 2011 with the original Senorita Eau de Parfum. I immediately was drawn to the bottle because it's just a beautiful pink bottle, big pink bow, you know, you can tell it's that sort of Italian craftsmanship that goes with the Salvatore Figueramo brand and I immediately wanted to try it. So as far as the bottle is concerned and all the bottles, they're all beautiful, nice things to have on your dressing table, definitely more sort of pink and feminine than most. I don't think that means that they're particularly young only fragrance like I'd say this works for any age if you like pink and you like the smell then go for it girl so the original eau de parfum is quite a sweet panna cotta flavored perfume but there's also red berries like a red currant pink pepper as well and then you've got a lovely rose and peony heart so basically this at first you do get that sweetness of that sort of dessert type sweetness but then the rose and the peony comes through and it becomes very pretty and feminine I think this is lovely because it's an eau de parfum it's got a pretty good strength um, similar really to the Amo Ferragamo in that they are delicate sweet scents but they do last and you do get a good I don't know four hours maybe out of the Eau de Parfum which is pretty much average or above average for most perfumes. There's jasmine, musk and patchouli in the base which are all common ingredients in most perfumes at the moment and the patchouli and the musk really help this last and the jasmine creates that sort of feminine smell that you associate with perfume that just makes it smell like a perfume and not like a body spray um, but predominantly it's that panna cotta that red berry and then the warmth of the rose and the freshness of the patchouli so a lovely fragrance pretty lovely as a gift I think it'd be hard to dislike and yeah eau de parfum is a classic it also comes in an eau de toilette version which is of course lighter um, not as concentrated so it won't last as long and this is like a sweeter version it has lychee as the main note and also like a whipped cream rather than panna cotta which is like a deep sweet pudding it's this is like sugar whipped cream and lychee like kind of like a lychee uh, ice cream flavor there's also grapefruit which you get in that initial spray it's like bang citrus then the lychee and then that sweetness and then the sort of rose heart comes through and then there's a sort of cashmere-iness in the settle down so this is definitely a fresher lighter version of the original perhaps you could say it was younger because of that sweet whipped cream you know if you were looking for a gift for say a 16 year old a 13 year old then this is would be perfect because the bottle's super cute it's super sort of innocent smelling it's not like sexy it's like fun sweet um so it's appropriate for younger kids and yeah i, I would just say this is a nice sweet innocent fragrance of course you could wear it at any age but this is definitely one that's appropriate for young teenagers as well so next we have senorita misteriosa and this is a black bottle so immediately telling you that this is a heavier a bit more serious than some of the others this has that whipped cream like sweetness in but this is with a strong like blackberry heart and then it's got vanilla and it's got patchouli. Both are um, relatively strong, well-bodied fragrance, which makes this pack a lot more punch than something like the Eau de Toilette and definitely makes this a bit more sexy. Like that vanilla is very much more the kind of smell that you would smell 
perhaps on a lady walking past you in a bar and then that blackberry that rich syrupy like a blackberry cocktail with sugar in that's what this feels like i really like this i think it's probably my favorite from the range but i do like all of them to be honest um and yeah this is definitely one for someone who just wants likes the senorita signature smell but wants it with a bit more of a punch some blackberry <laughs> next we have senorita eleganza now this has patchouli in again but it also has osmanthus so another um green note i guess florally green note there's plenty of pear in here which helps soften the perhaps the sharpness of patchouli but then there's almond and leather and those are both very warm sort of I don't know how to describe it like a hug I'd say eleganza is the kind of perfume you'd wear if you want something quite comforting like a wraparoundy cashmere leathery suede hug um it's feminine it's classy and without those sweet notes like the pear yeah it has a bit of sweetness in but not in the same way that the other ones have the patchouli comes through a lot more and this is definitely probably the most sophisticated of the range the more sort of like a traditional perfume smell and then lastly we have Signorita in Fiore which just came out this year in 2019 this is back to the sweetness of the original it's like a sorbet berry I think pomegranate and then it has some floral notes in but they're quite light and um, it's very much like cherry blossom think sort of Japanese cherry blossom with a pomegranate sorbet so fresh but sweet a little bit of jasmine a little bit of musk a little bit of pear and wood but overall this is like a sweet pomegranate and then some nice cherry blossom but cherry blossom is quite a sweet floral note so that's the range five different ones there and there are of course complimentary body products which are lovely to go with it and sometimes you can get them free in the gift sets and stuff as always guys i'll leave the links down below of where you can get these and i'll try and find you good prices for uk and us but that's it so let me know what you guys think have you been wearing any of these what do you think of the bottle let me know in the comments down below if you found the video helpful, useful, interesting, whatever, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you aren't already. I'd love to have you here, like I said. But that's it, guys. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.